Amit Hajra, basically working in the development of Monstack. In this application, I am going to show you about the chat server application, about uh, what about the requirement that when client is going to insert some data into the database, then the live changes are going to show on the front end without reloading. Okay, so that is the basic things. Here I am going to show you about that, how to run it and how uh, the things is going to work here. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, going to open the terminal and start our applications. So this is my terminal. And here I am going to first of all start the front end. So how am I start? I am going to start this basically by using npm start command. Okay. And on the other another hand, that is the basic things to manage the database service uh, to and to provide the RESTful API. I am using <coughs> Node.js as a backend, and basically to enter into the backend, let's write that thing cd space backend and run the command npm run dev. Okay, then the my backend server is also going to run. And here is my postman and here is my browser. So let's see what happened. Front end server is going to run and back end server is also run here. Hello. So see that my front end is going to run here and another one my back end is already running here okay so let's see what happened so this is the front end which is going to loading so see that my front end is going to run here and it is loaded and if you see first of all I am going to see the authentication task so let's log out and create an account here by clicking on the sign up button so suppose one name suppose some name like Ram Shankar and suppose his email id is ram shankar at the rate gmail.com and password suppose root123 i am going to sign up here and then see that it's going to logged in and going to load that thing and see the message welcome ram shankar suppose i am going to send a message from here by clicking on that form suppose hello <coughs> and if I click on the send button then see that it is going to load here right but one thing that must know that when another user going to send a message then the deduct state cannot manage that things basically it works when only one page is working locally but for another user if they can change anything then that can be happen by watching on the database change and see that I also implement that thing suppose I am logged in here as Amit Hajra right I am don't I am not seeing the things here I am just send a message here from this postman and if I send the message here then the message is inserted on the database and it is showing here see that without loading it is showing here hi what are you what are you doing right and the time when it is going in inserted and the time elapsed from the insertion <coughs> and that's basically the things how am i doing these things basically when basically i am uh, i implement a thing to watch the chat collection basically my collection name is chat if you see if I log in here so 
so I'm going to implement this whether it is logged in so see that when uh, my model name is chat when I first of all I load this model and here I watch uh, I implement the things of watch and it is going to uh, return the stream that is change stream when is there any changes happen on the database is it can be anything changes like insert update delete any any changes right so then the event is going to fire that is socket dot emit and then it is going to uh, action the front end and front end will uh, then receive the event and going to call the redux again to load all the updated redux state i am also uh, sent an email so that you can check that code that is basically my github link and then you can check my code and see that the my database is loaded here already and this is all are my collections <coughs> and if you say my github link here github my repository is socket chat app basically in this link you can get my code okay and these are all my cluster all um, basically one cluster tm cluster and here my this is my database chat app in these chats i have this is the basically collection where any changes happen then it is going to watch by these things and then event the socket event and emit it and then it is going to load here so that is basically the things so if you thinks that anything missing then please ping me about that then i can fix that thing anything going wrong then please reply me and if that things am i am things i am coding implementing as per your requirement then if you like this then please please reply me about how about my work okay so thank you for for that and thanks